as you know now that if we want a continuous flow of current in a circuit we need to maintain a potential difference so that means for continuous generation of current there should be a potential difference and uh, due to this only we introduce a battery or a cell into a circuit we already discussed in the previous lecture and that uh, battery or a cell contain two terminals and those terminals will always uh, will always have a potential difference they will they won't have the same uh, same charge in them so out of them one is going to always be at high potential and the other is going to be at low potential so that means uh, for the continuous generation of current there need, there has to be a potential difference so this thing actually led to the formulation of ohm's law by scientist ohm he said that at constant temperature he said that at constant temperature current flowing through a circuit current flowing through a circuit is directly proportional is directly proportional to potential difference applied directly proportional to potential difference applied again i am just going to re uh, repeat this definition for you it says that let the temperature remain constant so let's say that temperature is constant so at constant temperature the current flowing through a circuit that is the i uh, is directly proportional that means it varies directly with potential difference applied or we can say that v is directly proportional to i we can write in either of form in either form so removing proportionality sign as we all know in order to convey convert the relation into a formula we need to use an equal to sign and to put that we need to remove this uh, proportionality sign by putting a constant so here we put a constant r r is constant now sometime the constant has some name and sometimes it it is all only called as constant of proportionality or proportionality constant but in this case it has a specific name and its name is actually resistance it its name is actually resistance and this resistance actually has a meaning now we are going to discuss about that but before we discuss uh, i'm just going to plot a graph showing that v is directly proportional to i so let's say that let's plot a graph v on this axis i on this axis so as it was proved that it is directly proportional it varies directly that means if for this get increased this also get increased by the same amount if this get decreased this also get decreased by the same amount so if we talk about the graphs so graph is a straight line graph is a straight line and what does this line actually denotes this denotes the resistance that is the r it denotes the resistance so this is the graph uh, for the ohm's law now in order to know about resistance that what actually is the resistance what happen actually see suppose i have this wire so we have electrons in it we all know we all know that there are electrons and electrons are actually moving electrons are actually moving so when the electrons move they collide with each other when the electrons move they collide with each other it's just like uh, many cars moving on a road so what happened when many cars are moving on a road then what happened they collide among there is a chance that they collide among themselves and also if uh, if i say that uh, the road has a boundary around it so there is a chance that the uh, the roads may collide with the boundary wall also so likewise here also the electrons can collide among themselves and like this like this and also with the wall of the wire inner wall of the wire so what is going to happen like uh, i told you that there can be a collision there can be accident between two cars so if there will be when the two cars will collide what is going to happen it will create a jam it will create a jam that means the uh, the the cars which are behind will not be able to move so that means the uh, the hindrance are, is offered to those cars so likewise in this case when the electrons collide with each other or the inner wall of the wire so what happen the electron present behind like this if i am talking about see if these two electrons collide so this electron path is just hindered it 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 uh, this collision is actually offering a obstruction to that path this measure of obstruction is called as resistance so what is resistance 
resistance is the obstruction resistance is the obstruction in the flow of charge or electron through wire it is the obstruction in the flow of charge through wire now what is the reason behind i told you the reason is they may collide with each other or they may collide with electron may collide with inner inner wall of conductor inner wall of conductor so this two uh, may be the reasons in that case so uh, the, like uh, either this happens or this happens that that means the there is a hindrance offered to the path of the electron so this is what is called as resistance now if we need to uh, know the uh, factors on which resistance depend we can derive from this only as we know that v is equal to ir so we can have the formula for the resistance it is v upon i it is v upon i and if we talk about the unit because the constant may or may not have unit it depends but in this case resistance have the unit and resistance uh, actually um, this thing uh, have the unit and uh, what is the unit actually the the unit for the resistance is ohm the unit for the resistance is ohm the scientist ohm actually introduced the term this resistance so he kept the name of the unit uh, after its name that is the ohm and how we denote ohm we denote it by like this we denote it by this so 1 ohm is equal to potential difference is measured in volt so it is 1 ohm is equal to 1 volt over 1 ampere as we know uh, the unit for the potential difference is volt and unit for the current is ampere so this is how you are going to relate 1 ohm that is 1 ohm is equal to 1 volt over 1 ampere now if in case you need to define that then how you are going to do that again no need to cram that you can actually make a definition yourself you write that resistance is said to be resistance is said to be 1 ohm when when 1 volt of potential difference is applied when 1 volt of potential difference is applied which allows or you can say which permits 1 ampere current to flow through wire so i'm repeating again resistance is said to be 1 ohm when 1 volt of potential difference is applied which allows 1 ampere of current to flow through wire so this is what is the uh, how you're going to define the uh, this thing the unit si unit for the resistance that is the ohm so this is what you can say that uh, how we are going to uh, how how it is being explained as ohm's law or what is the graph and what is the uh, resistance and moreover you know that uh, there are certain factors on which resistance depends so we are just going to focus on the factors on which the resistance depends so i think you got it that what is resistance actually it is just the hindrance uh, in the path of the flow of the charge and you know that uh, every appliance every appliance i'm talking about has certain resistance may range from low to high but it is always going to have certain kind of resistance there is no appliance which uh, which has all means we can say that we have conductors which have nil resistance but still there is minute resistance present in in, in every appliance now we are just going to look that uh, on what factors the resistance depend so we see that resistance depends upon length of the wire resistance depend upon length of the wire it depends upon area of wire it depend area of cross section i'll write here it has area of cross section of wire it depends upon length of wire it depends upon area of wire it depends upon the material of the wire that from which it is made and it also depends upon the temperature it also depends upon the temperature so these are the four factors on which the resistance depend that is the it depends upon length of the wire now first we are going to see that how it depends upon length so it is proved that resistance is directly proportional to length that means more is the length more is the resistance or less is the length less is the resistance i'm going to prove it with example 
suppose you have a wire of this much length and you have a wire of this much length or let us consider them as roads. Let us say that here my car is going to cover this much distance and here my car is going to cover this much distance. So, uh, in, uh, in uh, like if we take both of them in which you are having a more probability of uh, collisions, where will be the more collisions in this short distance or in the long route? Obviously, in long route, suppose we are driving a car on a busy road, there are too many cars which are just moving along. So, that means the chance of collisions will be more on the, uh, the road which is, uh, which is more long because uh, longer the distance more is the chance of more it is prone to accidents you can say. So, in the same manner if the electrons are moving from here to here in this wire and the electrons are moving from here to here in this wire, obviously the chance of collisions are more in the wire with the uh, which is longer. Uh, so, that means more is the length, more is the resistance, less is the length, less is the resistance. Secondly, what is there? It is if we depend upon area, let us say we have a thick wire and another case we have a thin wire. In one side we have a thick wire, in another side we have a thin wire or we will just relate with the roads again. Suppose I have a wide road on which the traffic is moving and we have a narrow road where the traffic is moving. So, in, in which of the two you see that more, more number of collisions are going to happen. Obviously, the chances of collisions will be more on the narrow one because the road is narrow. So, that means the, the, there are, there are uh, you can say many chances that the cars may collide into or you can say bang into each other. So, in the same way if the electrons are moving they can move more smoothly in this case as compared to this because the chances of collisions are more in this wire and that is the narrow one. So, we say that resistance is inversely proportional to area, more is the area as we have seen less is the resistance, less is the area more is the resistance. So, combining both first we will derive a relation by combining both. So, combining both we have R is directly proportional to length over and inversely proportional to area. Removing proportionality sign we always put constant. So, here also we put constant and that constant is rho, that constant is rho, I write rho is actually the name of for the symbol rho is actually the name for the symbol otherwise what is this quantity this is specific resistance this quantity is specific resistance or we can also call it as resistivity we can also call it as resistivity so it can be called as resistivity or specific resistance but it is denoted uh, denoted by a symbol that is the rho. So, R is equal to rho L upon A is the relation. Now, we will define this uh, quantity as well, but uh, let us focus first on these two factors which are left. So, third factor which, which, which we were discussing that the resistance depend that depends upon the material of wire. We have different materials of wire, one is conductor, uh, semiconductor, insulator, we have already discussed conductor is one which has almost nil resistance, semiconductor which has moderate resistance and insulator which has maximum resistance. So, this also depends that uh, what kind of material uh, the wire is made of because depending upon that we will have the resistance. Fourth is the factor that is the temperature. We know that uh, suppose uh, here I am going to compare temperature with an acceleration. Suppose you have a car, I am driving a car and what I am doing is I am just accelerating a car. So, I am just putting my uh, feet on the speed, uh, speed of, uh, this thing, the speed uh, the one which is present below that is so you have clutch, brake and speed one. So, accelerator what, what we call as. Suppose I just uh, put my feet or uh, press my feet on the accelerator or I just accelerate a car. So, that means the car will start moving more faster and as the car will move uh, start moving more faster. So, there is a chance that it may undergo many collisions. So, likewise here also if you increase the temperature then the electron will gain some energy and they will start moving more uh, with more energy more kinetic energy and more they will move there is more chance more is this more will be the speed and obviously they are going to bang into each other more collisions that means more hindrance that means more resistance. So, we say that resistance is directly proportional to 
temperature in most of the cases it is there but in alloys it is different we'll discuss later but otherwise if you talk about the temperature with increase in temperature the energy of the electrons increase speed increase the here uh, collisions increase and therefore the hindrance increase that is the resistance increase so these are the factors now let us take up this row first so if somebody asks you about specific resistivity then what you are going to say is specific resistivity is related by rho and if you are asked for the formula then we are going to derive this formula for from this relation so we have rho is equal to just putting this here and just uh, shuffling them r into a upon l so this is the uh, formula for the specific resistivity or the resistivity or the specific resistance now let us see the units so we know that unit for the resistance is ohm and area is meter square length is meter 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 cancel out so that means uh, unit for the rho is ohm meter unit si unit for the uh, resistivity is ohm meter and if we can also have a smaller unit that is the ohm centimeter but otherwise it is the ohm meter so this is how you're going to uh, derive the formula for the resistivity now if somebody asks you to define it then we can also define it how let's say r is equal to rho l upon a or rho is equal to r into a upon l let us assume that length of wire is 1 meter and area is 1 meter square this is just an assumption when you need to define rho then only take these things as unity otherwise uh, you will be given that what you need to take so i'm just going to define it so therefore i'm taking the length of the wire as 1 meter and area 1 meter square putting values here we have rho is equal to r because this also become 1 and this also become 1 so how are you going to define rho we say that specific resistance this one is numerically equal to numerically because the value is going to become equal numerically equal to resistance of wire of length 1 meter and area 1 meter square so that means specific resistance is numerically equal to the resistance of wire of length 1 meter and area 1 meter square you know that uh, like practically uh, it is a technical term that resistance is the obstruction to the flow of charge and specific resistance is the uh, this one numerically equal to the resistance of wire of length 1 meter or area 1 meter square or if you we talk in a general sense then what is the difference between resistance and the resistivity see resistivity uh, resistance for first I am talk, talking about resistance is the total obstruction offered by the conductor it is the total obstruction which is offered by the conductor but if we talk about resistivity it is the resistance of 1 meter square area and 1 meter so this gives us the resistance of the length 1 meter and area 1 meter square so that means it is again a measure of resistance but a measure of resistance of a specific part and that part is 1 meter length and 1 meter square area but if we talk about the total one that is the resistance so this is how you are going to uh, define this resistance specific resistivity and uh, do not forget that uh, specific resistivity and resistivity is one and the same thing even specific resistance and moreover see that uh, this uh, resist uh, this thing the resistivity like different like if I say that wire is made up of copper or wire is made up of nichrome or wire is made up of tungsten so all those wires are going to have the different resistivity they are just going to have the different resistivity so, and for a same wire we can say resistivity remains same suppose I say I have a nichrome wire and I am just going to half it then what happened what happened to the resistivity it is going to remain same because the resistivity is just the measure of the resistance of length 1 meter and area 1 meter square let us now try to put the resistance so just look at the board carefully 